Hey there, Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja, and today I want to talk to you about should you think about installing an ERV? What is an ERV? It's an energy recovery ventilator. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything energy efficiency and indoor air quality related to your attic, basement, crawl space, and duct work. And today, we're talking about ventilation. This is a continuation of our indoor air pollution series, and everybody's asking, do I need an ERV, an energy recovery ventilator? Okay, so before we discuss ERVs, I wanna mention that there's a link in the description below to the April Air 1820 Dehumidifier Giveaway, where April Air is giving away an April Air 1820 Dehumidifier to one of our viewers. So make sure you click on the link, watch it, like it, and comment on that video, and we're going to give that dehumidifier away once that video reaches 500 likes. Also, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you the difference between an ERV, an energy recovery, ventilator and an HRV, a heat recovery ventilator. Okay, so why should you consider ventilating your home? As we've mentioned in our indoor air pollution series, bringing in fresh air into your home or office is very, very important, while also air sealing parts of the house that are allowing air to come in uncontrolled. So for example, if you want to make sure that you're bringing in proper ventilation that you can filter and clean the air before it comes in, you may want to consider air sealing your attic and your crawl space. This way you're not taking in dirty, unconditioned air from those spaces. So what an ERV does is it gives you the ability to bring in fresh air in a controlled manner in order to add good, clean air to your home while taking dirty, stale air out of the home. The other nice thing about an ERV is it actually lowers the amount of energy loss during the process. So in other words, the ERV is able to transfer heat and humidity out of the home if necessary. Now it's not a dehumidifier and it's not a humidifier. So if the air outside is high humidity, it tries to match or lower that humidity before it allows the process of circulation throughout the house. If the air outside is low humidity, then it tries to bring that humidity up a little bit in order to match the humidity to inside the house. The same with if the air is cold outside. So if you've got cold air outside, it's going to try to raise that temperature of the air up a little bit inside the ERV before your heating and air unit needs to raise the temperature even more. So it's less of a strain on the HVAC system. So it's sort of like opening a window to allow fresh air in, but filtering that air and either raising and lowering the temperature or drying out or adding moisture to the air before it has a chance to make its way inside the home. It's actually a pretty cool unit if you think about it. Now, of course, bringing in fresh air has a whole lot of benefits. For example, most homes uh, do not breathe very well. We make them so tight during the new construction processes that we have. So you could have VOC buildup, or you could have dust mite buildup, or mold buildup, or things like that. So bringing in that fresh air is going to make the indoor air quality better inside the home. But it also, because of its ability to transfer heat and moisture, it's going to save you money in the process. Now, as I mentioned before, it's not a dehumidifier, okay? And in a future video, we're going to do how you can use a dehumidifier to also bring in fresh air. So watch out for that video in the future. Now, of course, April Air makes an ERV, and I'm going to put a link to the description to that product down below, but it's a five-year warranty system. It requires very little maintenance. As a matter of fact, it has a couple of filters that need to be washed and, uh, and put back in on a regular basis, but it's a really cool system. So I recommend you check that out. And uh, they do recommend it be installed 
by a, a professional HVAC contractor, but I know there's enough of you great DIYers out there that you could probably install it yourself, which is why we're gonna make it available on our DIY store. Okay, so if you have installed an ERV or an HRV in your home, we hope you will comment down below what you have installed, how it's working for you, and also let the other viewers know what brand you installed. Have you put in the April Air or some other brand, and have you noticed a difference in the ventilation of your house? Okay, so I appreciate you sticking around to the end, and basically, I said in the beginning, I'm gonna answer what's the difference between an ERV and an HRV, an energy recovery ventilator or a heat recovery ventilator. And basically, the biggest difference is the ERV also controls moisture. It either removes moisture or adds moisture. The HRV is only dealing with heat. So if you live in a part of the country where your humidity is low and you don't have to deal with high humidity or moisture issues like maybe in Colorado or Southern California or something like that, then probably the heat recovery ventilator would be the preference. But here in East Tennessee and in the South where we got a lot of humidity and maybe up North in some of those areas, the ERV would be a better choice. So my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. Appreciate you all watching this video and I hope you'll like this video down below and hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.